Today's video, let's talk about home upgrades. But this time, let's talk about some of the upgrades that you might regret doing when it comes time to sell your home or upgrades that just have high maintenance costs. Let's get after it right now. And welcome to the Living in Utah channel, where you can find out everything about the state of Utah. And if this is your first time on my channel, you may consider tapping that subscribe button. Apart from making videos, I also help people buy or sell real estate. So if I can be of any assistance, I'll put my contact information on the screen. It'll also be located in the show notes. Now, some of the items that I'm going to mention might be different in other states. So please check with those states. Coming in first on my list, those outdoor kitchens. Yes, they are very popular, very beautiful. I see some great um, outdoor kitchens on some of the homes that I walk through. Also see some great outdoor kitchens on Instagram. Very, very nice. They can be very expensive. Also, keep in mind, in Utah, we have four seasons. So you can be hot, 9,500 degrees during the summer, you know, snow flying during the winter months. So sometimes outdoor kitchens are not used during the snowy days and also the very hot days. So sometimes you'll pay all this money for an outdoor kitchen and it's used very little. I also find some of them are hard to clean, especially when you get the storms that come through and it'll rain with that uh, dirty rain where it leaves everything with brown spots. So the, the stove, the TV, the refrigerator, you know, it just looks bad after a storm sometimes and someone has to clean that outdoor kitchen. Number two on my list, swimming poles. Yes, they look beautiful, great to operate. Kids love poles. I'm primarily talking about in-ground poles, the expensive ones where they have to come and excavate, and um, build the entire pool, not the above ground pools. Now, in some cases, I have found that the cost to put a pool in in Utah is higher than some other states like Arizona and Florida. The only reason I can think is maybe we have less contractors in the state of Utah doing pools, so maybe there's not as much competition, but it does seem to be a little bit more money than places like Arizona, Florida. Also, uh, when it comes to excavation costs, if you are next to the mountain in northern Utah, sometimes your excavation costs can go up because it's a little rocky. If you're down in the St. George area, there are uh, many areas that are also very rocky. So to get that hole in the ground, sometimes can be a little bit more money. Then we have to talk about the maintenance costs, the chemicals. The cover for the swimming pool, I've heard people will put a new cover on the next year. It's torn. They've got to put another cover. And then the constant cleaning of the pool. And then don't forget the insurance costs. Typically, your homeowner's insurance will go up if you have an in-ground pool. And then the usage. As kids get older, the pool gets used less and less. And you still have to pay for the chemicals, the cleaning, the tarps. So sometimes people regret putting swimming pools in. Coming to number three on my list, I'm gonna label this one the big play sets. Yes, you look in the backyards, very nice play sets. Got swings, uh, slide, all kinds of different apparatus. Kids love these play sets. But on the downside, as the kids get older, they become teenagers. They're not as interested. They don't want to use it anymore. So then it just sits in your backyard. And with contractors building lots smaller and smaller, it can take up a lot of space. And when your kids are then teenagers, you might want that backyard to play a game of soccer or football or baseball. And you've got this big play set in the way. So sometimes people regret putting in the big play sets. Coming to number four on my list, converting a garage into a bedroom. You see it all the time. Take the garage, make it into a bedroom. The extra room can be very handy. Another person can stay. Sometimes though, when these conversions are done, the heating and AC does not seem to work that great um, in the garage. Also the insulation 
So sometimes those rooms can be kind of cold. If you plan on selling the home, most buyers nowadays, they would like a garage during the cold months. Leave the car outside, you always have to scrape the windows. And during the summer months, when the car sits outside in the boiling heat, it gets a little warm getting inside that car. So if you put it inside the garage, it's a little bit cooler. So many buyers would like a garage. Coming in at number five on the list, I call this one the $100,000 bathrooms. Yes, those giant bathrooms with the double showers, the claw foot tub, um, lots of sink space. Some of these bathrooms are four and 500 square foot. If you're living in the average home, average home price of a home, it's hard to recoup your money if you go to sell that home with the $100,000 bathroom. Now, if you're in a multi-million dollar home, it's almost a must to have a bathroom like that. But, you know, consider the resale value and if you need to recoup that particular 100 k on the resale of your home, if you're in that average price range, it'll be very difficult. Coming in at number six, on the list, those home theater rooms. There are people out there spend fifty, a hundred thousand dollars on a home theater room. It is really cool. It's very nice. I I enjoy some of those rooms. They can be very expensive, and it can be very hard to recoup your costs during resale. Now, if you're the DIY type of person, and you can put in the custom lighting and the custom sound system and the uh, different levels of floor and the seats, by all means, um, probably would be a great investment. But if you're spending $100,000 on a home theater system on the average home, it's tough to recoup that money during resale time. But on the flip side, if you're in a million dollar home, multi-million dollar home, home theaters are pretty much a must. Coming at number seven on my list, those home gyms, the custom gyms where people will take a room and they'll convert it solely to be a gym. I usually will recommend that maybe you take an existing bedroom or office space or, or if you're building from scratch, you make it a bedroom and then put the gym equipment inside that room. So that when you go to sell the home, move out of the home, if you plan on selling the home, you could easily have that room as a gym or back to a bedroom, multi-purpose room. Coming at number eight on my list, let's talk about flooring. Try to avoid mismatched flooring. Keep it all flowing nice through the home. Some great transitions. One of the things I see People will have tile, and maybe they're they're tired of the tile. So they'll put laminate flooring or carpet on top of the tile. You end up with this large lip. Somebody can trip over it. It's kind of uncomfortable. Have the tile removed, then put the new flooring down. Also, for those who are thinking about putting carpet in the bathrooms, I would say in the state of Utah, probably no. Most people do not want carpet in their bathrooms. Coming in at number nine, paint. Real simple, neutral colors sell faster. Sometimes we like to use these um, not, I don't know if you want to call them not so popular colors, but maybe some of the colors that don't appeal to everyone, like the maybe the dark greens, the pinks, the fluorescent orange, et cetera, et cetera. If you do paint your home in those particular colors, if you do decide to sell the home, possibly go with a neutral color. It's more pleasing, a little bit easier to sell. And coming at number 10, the open shelving in kitchens. It's pretty much outdated nowadays. Um, some of the disadvantages, any of the items that you put on shelves, they tend to get dusty. They require constant cleaning. Um, just... The open shelving is just not popular anymore, so try to avoid that. So in summary, that's some of my list. I'd love to know in the comments down below what is on your list. 
Till the next video, take care and stay safe.